Hello, Lynn. Hello, Clay. Hello, everybody. Hi, listeners. Welcome back to Fundraising is Funny. (laughs) It is. It is funny. It is. It is. Oh, just some days. I mean, laugh or cry, laugh through crying, throw up, laugh, cry, you know, all the feelings sometimes. Laugh just because. Snicker. You, you need snort. To. Yeah. Oh, gosh. We should, we, should, we should do a whole thing on all of the synonyms for laughter. Like. Snicker, snort. Chuckle. Snorfle. Snorfle's a good one. Snorfle. Um, yeah. Guffaw. Oh, a guffaw. A good guffaw is just soul cleansing. What about a teehee? Teehees are good giggles. Teehee. Grins. Yeah. I do like S and G's. Yes, I do too. Yes, mm-hmm. just for S's and G's. I, yeah. I'm a very yeah. naughty girl. I, I have toyed with the idea for years of doing a fundraising synonym. What do you call this? Oh, a thesaurus. <laughs> because I promise you. A I promise synonym you. Synonym book. A synonym book. <laughs> <laughs> but we need we couldn't say a synonym book because I feel like synonym is a really big word to put with that. So it, it is like kind of like it book. Like, sort of sounds like kind of like kind of like yeah. I'm a really good metaphor person. What's a metaphor? Well, a metaphor, as um, Pablo Neruda uh, might say. Yeah, there you go. Un metaphor. Um, a metaphor is like when you say. Um, it's like two pigs dancing under a blanket, but that's a simile. That's a simile. No, what's a metaphor? Um, well, a metaphor technically, um, is when you're com- doing a comparison, right? And you apply a word or phrase to something that's not, right? No, silly. What's a metaphor? To keep cows in. A metaphor. Wow. (laughs) I got clay earlier today. So many of y'all know I live on an island. And I got him because he got me. He got me on that one. But um, Uh he he got me. But I got him earlier because I said, hey, clay, what's a pirate's favorite letter? No, C, you silly. Oh. See, yeah. he's silly. Good. It's good. It's good. It's good. The dad jokes we are flying. We digress. But do you know what? It's a little, we're a little daffy around here. We today. are. The seat. The it's the afternoon. <laughs> We've had some root beers. Root beers. Root. Root, root beer. Root beers. Root beer like roof. <laughs> Rough. And roof. Uh, when you roof. wash your clothes in the creek. Yep. I love regionalisms. I love uh, them. Right? I mean, and I've tried to lose certain phraseologies but i haven't uh but we're a little daffy around a here. little daffy like yeah like, like daffy like the duck daffy duck daffy duck or daff, daff meaning short for donor, donor advised, advised fund. fund you know what's funny <laughs> the fact that billions of dollars trillions of dollars are sitting in donor advised funds and not going to charities that donor advised funds are hilarious <sighs> And I can feel, I can feel actually through the podcast web. Do you hear the? I anger? can hear people laughing, crying. Hey, Clay and Lynn, explain to us why daffs are funny. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so let's talk about daffs, shall we? Mm-hmm. Do, do you want? Let I mean, do you want to hear a story? We can talk about it, or you can just tell me a bedtime story. I'm going to tell you. Well, it's not a bedtime story. Oh, this one's going to make me mad, isn't it? Well, no. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Hopefully, it'll, it'll make you laugh a little so bit. So many billions of So dollars. many billions. Right. So, so um, very fortunate one time, uh, I was chief development officer, and we received a very- Chief. Chief. Development officer. That's that whole other episode we need to do about titles. We do need to work yeah. on that. Yeah. Yeah. Anywho. Uh, yeah. So, uh, very fortunate to have received a lovely gift from a new donor that was- uh, significant enough that it made us all really stip, you know, sit up and take notice from a brand new donor that we didn't know. So you got a lovely gift from a donor. We received a lovely first time gift. Didn't know the donor. Had no idea how he was related to us, etc. Did our research. Did our due diligence. Of course, right. Followed up with gratitude. Absolutely. All the things. Scheduled meetings to meet with them. To make a very long story short, there. Okay. That donor, uh, then, uh, that that gift was actually a, hey, hello, yeah. hi, 
are you paying attention? Yeah. Um, and the, the, the relationship went very well. He ultimately joined our board. Oh. Which was lovely. Um, so he waved high in a big way. He did. Now, it wasn't overnight. Obviously, it I took some tell. time. And there Hello. were... <laughs> no. But this takes time. Public service announcement. Yes. If I say hello in the context of a song, and you think Lionel Richie and not Adele, it's time to schedule your colonoscopy. Just saying. <laughs> you know, and PSA. you really should take care of your health. Uh, colonoscopies, regular mammograms, pap smears. Absolutely. Um, PSA tests for those of you that have a prostate. Because we need you healthy, uh, both physically and mentally. So long-term, right, and he joins our board and, of course, then made, made the gift uh, as part of his board, uh, which was very generous, which he made from his organization. So, yeah. right, he made the personal gift from his sure. personal, right, and then made uh, a gift, his board gift. Now, what we didn't know was that he and his partner, his, his girlfriend at the time, uh, they used the term partner, um, was very into children's education programs. Okay. And she made a gift. Okay. Specific to the education funds. Supporting her partner. Yeah, his, his well, involvement, but she also. Cared. I mean, she knew that he was involved. This was before he joined the board, so okay. you know, I'm mixing up the story in the sake of time for a little bit here. Well, but yeah, time is really not that relevant some days. But anyway. she knew that you know, and we hadn't met her and all okay. of that. Different cool. name made it through the donor advised fund. Different name than him. I would hope she would have a different name. Like they weren't both Jack Pratt. Uh, no, no, no. Different right. last name. Different last name. Yes. Oh, yes. I was thinking, could it be weird? So. Small, small, small diversion. Mm. When I was in high school, Mm -hmm. uh, there was a boy and his name was Tommy Lynn. Mm -hmm. And I used to dream in my notebook about being Lynn Lynn. And and I I don't mean that, in, but Lynn, it was L-Y-N-N-E, L-Y-N-N. Oh, wow. And I thought that was the dream. It's a good dream. I don't know whatever happened to Tommy Lynn. So, Tommy, if you're out there, um, I had a crush on you just so that we could have the same my name, I liked my name. Lynn Lynn. Lynn Lynn. I'm just going to call you Lynn Squared from now on. I mean, I'm okay with that. There but we go. We digress. So his partner's so girlfriend made partner a gift. Through the, through and of death. course, they don't share the same name like Lynn Lynn. Right, exactly. It's a different last name. Different last name. Mm-hmm. And it, it didn't, right, it didn't connect that. So, fast forward. So, you get some random gift from a DAF, a donor advised fund. Well, right. And it was restricted to a particular program. And because it was a donor advised fund gift, we're not talking $50 here. No, it was, it was, it was a nice size a gift. A nice little four or five figure gift. It was, yeah. It was, a, it was you know, again. Uh, lovely. It was lovely. Lovely. Right. Well, so, our systems didn't catch this. Our quote unquote systems. Raw, raw. So, now, think about this. We have a couple... We have one gift from his personal. Yeah. Right? We have another gift from his business. Oh, Lord. We have then a third gift from a donor advice fund. We are just wanting a mistake. With the same household. Can you imagine the horror if you even tried to do a donor list with that scenario? Oh, well, it gets better. Oh, no. Try reporting on donor retention in your new fiscal year. Oh, and guess who looked like they were an unrenewed lapsed donor? Board member. Board member. Ding, 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 ding. Board ding. member. So the point of the story here is DAFs. They can get daffy sometimes. They can get daffy sometimes. Ah. Now, let's talk, but let's talk about that trillion or so dollars sitting in DAFs. And yeah. let's talk about donors like DAFs. And the rise in DAFs over the last 10 years. And they're not even just restricted to wealthy people. Uh, No. However, they are a wonderful indicator. Yes. Right? Of, hey, if I have a donor advised fund, I would say, would maybe you go along this river with me, but eight or nine times out of 10, Mm -hmm. I have a money manager. Oh, absolutely. Maybe not at a community foundation. No, but some form fund. of. But if my f- donor advised right. fund is at Fidelity. Right. Or, um, oh, what's the one my dad has that's the bull? Uh, Morgan Stanley. Morgan Stanley. Oh, or. <laughs> now I see the logo. Yeah, 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 yeah sorry. Yeah, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, it's, it's, I've seen it on the stationery at the house, if you yeah. know what I mean. <laughs> and I'm like, Dad, never mind. But there's multiple, there's multiple right. ways now. But maybe, you know, I'm, I'm saying 
community foundation, you don't necessarily have to have a wealth manager to set up a fund, but they do have no. minimums. Yeah, you can't sure. just walk in with fifty dollars and be like, "I want a sure. fund," right? But it's a large indicator of at least some planning, financial planning. It's an indicator of financial planning. It's an indicator that there's some intention there. Ooh, what a good indicator! Ooh, ooh, ooh! What if Clay? Yes. A DAF gift was a big, yellow, bright, sparkly flag uh-huh. that said, ripe for plan giving. Absolutely. <laughs> right? And donors do love a donor advised fund. Sure. I, I, I don't have one, but now, I do know people that do and they love it. I, I know many families that have donor advised funds that are very intentional about it. And listen, I am still enough of a Pollyanna, even after 30 plus years in this business, Mm -hmm. that I am just going to hold on to the idea that people do put money in their DAFs, in their donor advised funds, with every good intention. That right now, at this moment, I'm not entirely sure what charity I want this to go to, but I'm going to go ahead and put it in the DAF because I am going to release it. You are Pippi Longstocking. I am. I enjoy that about I you. Truly, I love my friends like you. Listen, the day I give up on believing that donors are inherently <laughs> generous, don't stop believing. Clay. Is the day that I need to leave the sector. I agree, but don't stop believing either because I it's shan't. a fun song. I shan't. I oh. shan't. Um, so, yes. So, right. So, the DAF. Right. Well, the, the DAFY part of it here mm-hmm. is, well, I guess it comes down to, what do you do with a DAF? Well, you got to be careful with DAFs, too. Right. Because remember, I've had people who have used DAFs in some interesting ways. Uh-huh. And that makes me think, which makes me hungry. Um, which, you know what I think it's time for? Snacks. Do you remember Laffy Taffy? Oh, the Laffy it. Oh, the song or the the candy fake banana flavored Laffy Taffy. Laffy Taffy. I think on a Daffy uh, Daffy podcast we need to have some Laffy Taffy. When we come back, yes, I'm going to give you one of my favorite Laffy Taffy jokes. Okay, and we're going to talk a little bit more about the interesting things about donor advised funds and how people use them. I like it. Let's do it. If my teeth aren't stuck together, you do the Laffy Taffy. The Laffy Taffy. Sing us out, Lynn. Sing us the to break. Laffy Taffy. I do the laugh at ever. It's the only lyrics I know from that I song. Love it. Yeah. It's beautiful. Yeah. 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 So Clay. Mm-hmm. Before the break, I promised a laffy taffy joke. Mm-hmm. You know, that's really the point of eating laffy taffy. Kind of like, did you ever used to have bazooka gum? <laughs> and yes. it was so hard. Yes. And crusty. Yes. You even had like dust on it, it felt like. Yeah. But you ate it so you could get the comic. I have TMJ today because of bazooka <laughs> gum. I love Because bazooka. ultimately it would go chewy, but by the time it went chewy, it had lost Oof. its flavor. Did you ever have a pouch of Big League Chew? I used to love oh the grape flavored Big League so Chew. So growing up, Brett Favre, I mean, not Brett Favre, uh, George Brett was my hero. Uh huh. And my dad got to throw out the first ball uh-huh. at, a, at a Kansas City Royals game. Uh-huh. And there's a photo of me and George Brett's arms. Oh. Maybe we'll post it on the fundraising. It's funny website, but I have a baseball sign by him. And, and I, I chewed big league chew because of George Brett. I now realize his was not gum um, and grape flavored. George, George Brett. Is that a sports ball? Oh, sorry. It's a sports ball hero thing. Okay. So back, I diverge. Um, diverge. I, I diverge. <laughs> I divulge. I Two digress. podcasts diverged in the in middle of it. <laughs> and one was the less traveled by. And I think it's probably going to be ours. And the Laffy Taffy made all the difference. So the Laffy Taffy. Good so fences they had good neighbors. Strawberry, grape, and that sickly banana that flavor. Awful banana flavor. Do you remember right. banana flavored runts? No. Runts, the candy. You got to look do that not, up. The banana no, flavored no, ones are gross. Nope. My favorite laugh ta- Laffy Taffy joke. Mm. How do you make a tissue dance? You put a little boogie in it. (laughs) I am back to being seven years old and um, having boogies. Uh, Well, boogers still are funny. Aren't we still basically seven? I I am nine and a half. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I now Pokemon. I have, you know. All these things. Fart jokes are still in. Man, we have, funny. We've covered everything. We've covered sure. your diary, writing name, like yeah. can't. Lynn like, Lynn. Lynn Lynn. Yes. Yeah. So uh, it's a journey down Lynn Lane today. Lynn Lane. Um, so we we'll talk about DAFs. We're talking about donor going Daffy. Things. Yes. And one of the dangers with DAFs you yes. have to make sure of, especially for you organizations that do events, 
whether they be special oh, or, or mediocre or mundane, meh, right? Is that you know you donors can't receive any benefit from their DAFs. Correct. So if you're at a university, they can't pay for their football tickets with their DAFs. Correct. Or basketball. Those are again the sports words. Right. 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 Um, say you run a um, a theater, they cannot go to the ballet or the opera with the DAF money. Mm-mm. Can't nope. do it. Nope. 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 And they can't buy a table at your gala, or is it gala? Yeah. We don't say gala apples, do we? We say gala apples. I say gala apples. I don't say either because I'm a honey crisp girl till I die. And that is a till I will die on. Right. Honey crisp apples, come fight me. Okay. Sorry, nobody's probably fighting me. Goodness, that, that was, I mean, oof. I am passionate about honey crisp. Clearly. They are $9 million, but they are worth every penny. There you go. Honey crisp apple and some peanut butter, fight me. I'm not going to fight you on Okay, this. sorry. I get really militant about my apples because they're never mealy. And there's nothing worse than a mealy apple. Mm. So they can't pay for things. Like, right. it's not a gift card at Saks. You can't just right. pay for things. Right. And right. so nonprofits right. sometimes aren't educated on that. And they don't know. Um, Lynn, would you be up to, and I realize we, we didn't talk about this in prep. Oh, bless it. But would you be up for just a really quick rapid fire here towards the end of our, right, just to kind of wrap things up on DAFs? Yeah. A little, real quick. Okay, so if I receive a gift from a DAF, I am a nonprofit, do I receipt that gift? No, you can't do that because the donor already got a receipt. There we go. What you can do is send them a lovely thank you, but never include the dollar amount of the gift. I was just going to say. Your thank you should never include the dollar amount to begin with, and that's another episode. That is a whole other episode. Um, Okay, so I receive a gift from a DAF, and Mm -hmm. the paperwork that comes with the Donor Advised Fund does not tell me who the donor is. It, It just says you've received this gift from, you know, XYZ. Yeah, and they don't say it's anonymous, of course. They just say, right, 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 right. well, there's this new invention called a telephone mm. or an email. Most of them come with email addresses to the DAF. Yep. And you're going to want to contact. So you're saying it's okay for me to reach out to the donor advised fund company? like So not only Fidelity. is it okay, uh-huh. but in America, in the United States, mm-hmm. um, technically you cannot receive cash with, or money without knowing its origin. Uh-huh. So I guess the origin would be fidelity, but technically right. you need to find out who the originating donor was mm-hmm. in order to keep track of it, especially if it's over $9,999. Wow. Good. I'm a nerd That's for specific. rules. Okay. Just like if you got a stock transfer mm-hmm. of $13,000, yep. you have to know who that donor is or you have to return the stock transfer. Now, what if the paperwork says uh, you received this gift and the donor has chosen to remain anonymous? That's wonderful. Then yep. you can book that to your anonymous account in your CRM or your database. There you go. But again, you know, you want to try to find out who that is for many reasons, right? Sure. And so, um, but if the donor wants to remain anonymous, that's certainly their right and Absolutely. their preference. Absolutely it is. All right, now here's the tricky one, and this is going to cause a little controversy, and we're not going to take a whole lot of time Controversy. Um, how do I record this gift in my database, who is the donor? The donor is uh, the name of the donor advised fund. Uh-huh. Fidelity Charitable, Charles Schwab, uh-huh. uh, Morgan Stanley. Uh-huh. And you soft credit uh-huh. the human being uh-huh. who recommended that gift. So if Clay Buck sent it to me from his Fidelity account, mm-hmm. Fidelity is the donor. Uh-huh. Clay Buck is soft credit or recognition credit. Mm-hmm. And I need to make sure I include Clay's whole household. Uh huh. Yep. So if he had a boyfriend, a husband, a spouse, someone like that, that's... A partner who was making restricted gifts to the education fund, maybe, Absolutely. perhaps? Um, okay, now I, let me, I will insert that there are people... I'm not going to name names, but they know who they are if they're listening. There are people who uh, do this differently. And, and I will say that the key thing is confirm with your finance office and your auditors that you are entering it the way they require and they want it done according to IRS regulation. And silly me, I like to follow the IRS FASB and other accounting standards. And I have literally had people quote FASB saying this other way. I'm like, mm, I'm not going to argue. You know, you can get anything to say anything you want it to say there sometimes. You go. However, yes. I'm messing with the IRS. Now, last question, right? Yes. Because um, I know this happens too. 
Yes. The paperwork goes to the finance office who dis- who uh, deposits the check mm-hmm. from the DAF. And you, as the gift entry person or the major gift officer or the fundraiser, you don't get that information from finance. That's not cool. Um, can I answer that one even though I asked? Of course. You march your happy little tail up to finance. I have a happy little tail? You have a happy little tail. Oh, my God. I've always wanted a tail. Uh, listen, I, I know, and we can do a whole other episode on this if anybody wants to, but I will go to my retirement saying the most important internal relationship a fundraiser can have is with your finance department. Oh, I thought it was with the snack delivery guy or the, that too. the owner of the liquor store. <laughs> that too, but internal. Inter- oh, internal. If you've got, in, you got a liquor store in your um, organization, um, are you hiring? <laughs> right, um, say, who are you and how do we get sponsorship <laughs> we are always looking for sponsors here at fundraising is funny and we do accept in-kind liquor donations <laughs> beer um, and wine also indeed indeed we and you know picking. i don't even drink so i will but i will take will a, share. i will share um right so okay so what's our takeaway what's the punchline here so the punchline is that donor advised funds yes. while a little daffy to some people yes are wonderful methods of accepting donations absolutely and that but we have to be careful we have to do our due diligence yep. just like we should with any gift agreed but we need to make sure that when we're doing uh, work with um dafts and um and other things like that mm-hmm. um we are conscious mm-hmm of that this is a third party involved in a relationship and that third party also should send us signals like hey this might be a good person for you know plan gifts sure. and then then the other final thing is do your research yep what if i'm a little removed from that what if i'm you know over here and i don't do the gift entry i don't see all the You're things over there i'm over here in gift oh. entry and you know advancement services is way over there and i don't necessarily see it like like what's what how what's the what's the punchline there well, I think one thing you could do uh-huh. is ask for a report. There we go. Of all of the gifts that come in yeah. via third party. Could be a family foundation. Oh, good idea. Could be a donor advised fund. Good could idea. be a community foundation. Could be something like matching gifts. And Absolutely. I know we'll probably do an episode on matching corporate matching gifts. I'm sick that day, but yes, let's do that. <laughs> I'm sick that day too, because there's a word out there called benevity that I just don't want to talk oh, about. Oh, Yeah, wow. I said a curse. Well, and that's growing too. It's not just benevity I anymore. So that's a, a little teaser for corporate giving that mm. we'll talk about yeah. someday. Um. DAFs are growing in popularity, more and more DAFs. Can I shamelessly plug, uh, again, something I didn't prep before, I'm sorry, but can I shamelessly plug uh, a phenomenal resources, uh, resource on DAFs that, sure. um, uh, if you don't know Helen Brown at the Helen Brown Group, they created a product called Definitive, which is incredibly helpful in your prospect research tools. Uh, so as you're doing your research, it's a great tool to add. And shout out to Helen for providing a great thing. But I think that you're absolutely right that the fundamental thing here is do your research. Know Educate your yourself. Exactly. There's trillions of dollars and billions of dollars out there. So it's it's not okay to say anymore, oh, well, we don't get a lot of DAFs. Right, right. You would want right. to receive lots of DAFs. Indeed. And so as we can help, you know, not only are we here to give you a chuckle, about being daffy and laffy taffy and all those things. Right. We're also here to help you out. And so, you know, if we think about um, our members, we always love to call you in uh, to help yep. uh, at fundraisingisfunny.com. And, you know, we would love for you to tell us how are you handling daffs? What are some of your stories or maybe some of the great or hard lessons you've learned yeah. Yeah. Um, with daffs at your organization? And also, you know, the, the DAF folks are there to help, too. You know, they're, they're, they, they want to educate the community, too. So, you know, bring them in. 100%. 100%. Bring them in. Every time I have called Fidelity or any of the DAF providers, they are Schwab. more than Schwab. Schwab. They are more than helpful to provide that information, Absolutely. share what they can. They're there to help. So They yeah. believe in nonprofits, too. Absolutely. Otherwise, they wouldn't be doing this. Yeah. I mean, the whole profit thing they really yeah. like. So Indeed. Yeah. Well... Thanks so much, uh, Clay, for getting Daffy with me this afternoon. Anytime. And I loved your story. And so Thank you. just uh, we look forward to the rest of your stories. And <laughs> and uh, maybe some of you have donor advisors yeah. yourself. There you go. Tell us your experience there. And some of you are at community foundations. And we love community foundations. We're happy to help and, and work with you in any way we can. So we'll talk to you all later. And until then, go find your favorite Laffy Taffy. And take care of yourselves.